Jesus a biggest clap of me. Amen. Serving God in truth and in deed preserves life, confers longevity, the number of your days he will fulfill. There is no death on your face. There is no death on your face. For a child shall die at a hundred years. He said, my people shall long enjoy the works of their hands. There's a future for you. No devil shall cut short your days. As you keep serving the Lord, you commit his integrity to confirm his word in your life. No more sickness. No more disease. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your two hands and bless his name for the privilege of serving him and the interest of his kingdom. Thank him for the privilege of being a partaker of Operation 615. Would you praise him, celebrate him? Thank you, Father. Now ask him to speak to you right now. Speak to me, Jesus, tonight. By your word, change my story. Grant me a brand new beginning. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. One of the benefits of fasting is outbreak of revelations. Light just breaking forth and um, leading the way forward. The outbreak of light leads the way forward. Light breaks forth. He said, then shall your light break forth like the morning, and your head shall spring forth speedily. May his word come true to you tonight. May it lead the way forward in your life. In the name of Jesus. Now for everyone engaging in the ongoing operation 615, be blessed. Yeah. Every act of obedience provokes blessings from the Lord. Be blessed. Yeah. When Abraham obeyed that very challenging instruction, bring your only son for me for a bond sacrifice, the Lord said, by myself have I sworn, because you have done this thing, that in blessing I will bless you. Now I pray that every engaging winner will come under a sworn blessing. In the name of Jesus. Be blessed. Your going out is blessed. Your coming in is blessed. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord, let your word go for tonight. And bless everyone present in this service in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand of praise and please, you may be seated. I once said that God never says thank you to anybody. When your obedience touches God, He swears a blessing in response. When God swears a blessing, that makes you uncursable. Now, in the name of Jesus, everyone here 
will become uncursable entities yeah. as a result of our fruitful engagement in Operation 615. Yeah. Always remember that every blessing from God requires that you play your part to secure the blessing. You want to be saved? Simple. Repent. And be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and shall be saved. Oh yeah, you have repented? Good. But have you been baptized? You see, you see, uh -uh. there is no you see. You either get it or you don't get it. <laughs> Whosoever believes and is baptized shall be saved. Whosoever believes not shall be condemned. No one, we shall, no one here shall be condemned. Uh, we had a whole lot of people on the line for water baptism this last week. Awesome. I got baptized while I was a speaker in a conference. And for the first time I heard that the water baptism I had at the age of eight days is no baptism. It's a religious mark. There had to be a mask. And you can't imagine if a deep chap in water it may, may be lost. Now you have to repent. You can't repent and be baptized. It's one after the other. You see, every time you take God's word raw, the blessings just come open. In Jesus' name, no one will miss his place. Yeah. Every scripture is equally anointed. Not one we, able, we ever cancel out the other. So embrace the word of God in all its totality uh, and you watch how that keeps decorating your life. Don't let your status in court make you think that God will say, oh, you see, you see, you see. There's no you see. You get it right, or you don't get it. I've been telling you we are simply, primarily on a rescue mission. We are not in a church growth craze. We're in a, restitution, I mean, a, a, a rescue mission for the dying world. Got a testimony today. This person came into Lagos in search of green pasture from wherever he came. And then uh, why in Lagos? He became a subject of pity because of his tattered appearance. I neither had shelter nor food. I was introduced to prostitution, but I strongly declined. Now, on the 17th of May, 2018, I was passing through Iyana Yesi when I came across Bishop Yedepo. I stood under his ministration. That changes life. Now he came in 17th. Now he came into church and began to engage in Operation 615 with all his heart. He said, uh, Why engaging passionately in Operation 615? I stood in the gap for my mother who cannot walk by herself for the past four years as a result of stroke, and my sister who had been waiting on God after nine years of marriage. As I continue my vigorous engagement, cool. Somebody was just about to be a prostitute in me. Now, engaging vigorously. Just this one, five. What happened? I called home one day and I was told that my mother, who cannot walk for over four years, has started walking. Now, what is that one day? This is, we are still in June. June is not over. This person came into the kingdom in May. Now, not only that, and then uh, more, more so, my sister went to run a pregnancy test and was confirmed pregnant after nine years of waiting. Now, this is somebody about to die and has become an, a rescue agent for his family. Now, wait. What you are doing now will not only impact on your life, it will impact on every member of your household. Yeah. This is me. It's a rescue mission. You said, do you know her? I don't. But Jesus does. I never spoke one word about Operation 615. He came into church and had it. I had it. I jumped into it. God began to decorate her life. Somebody should not be counted as a member of the family. Now I became the savior of the family. In the name of Jesus, somebody's story is changing here. Yeah. The supernatural is simply a manifestation, of, a manifestation of the word we receive, believe, and obey. 
which God confirms into signs and wonders. Who has, he said, um, as many as received the word, to them he gave power to manifest the sons of God, even to as many as believe on his name, John 1, 12. So there is nothing mystical about this. The supernatural is simply a product of our obedience of faith to the revealed word. When the word is revealed to you and you engage with it, believing the supernatural results. There is nothing mystical about it. It is only the world we receive, believe, and obey that we are empowered to experience. The world we receive, believe, and obey, we are empowered to experience. Many have been learning at the feet of Jesus, very few are experiencing what he's saying. Be ye therefore not hearers of the word only. Be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, or you are deceiving yourself. If any man be a hearer of the word and not a doer, it's like a man that looked at himself in the mirror and walked away, immediately forget, he forgot what he looks like. But whosoever, whosoever looked into the perfect law of liberty, the word of God, and continue therein. He not be a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work. A doer of the work. That man shall be blessed in all his deed. The Bible is not a motivational speaking textbook. You put it to work, it begins to work with proofs in your life. You just write it down and quote it to everyone that comes across your way. Good luck. You just get entertained by it. It is the practice of the word that culminates in proofs. The knowledge of the word is mere religious entertainment. You are just entertained by the information. Oh yes, that is heaven, so on and so forth. Whatever word we will not act upon, will it lead do not believe. Show me your faith without your works, and I show you my faith by my works. James 2.8. You can imagine if God said, when God said to Abraham, get thee out of thy country, and he just kept singing, get thee out of thy country to the land I will show you. I will make of you a great name. I will bless you and make thy name great. Abraham. <laughs> and then he kept singing that to his wife every day. I met the Lord just last night and he told me, get thee out of thy country. <laughs> he would die as Abraham. You know God changed his name to Abraham. He would die without identity. You better wake up and act. Glory to God. My wife didn't tell me so, but I guess she must be bothered that I had meetings last night. We had a cabinet meeting. We went back to work, got up at, I mean, went to bed at 3 o'clock, got up again to have another meeting at 6.30, and then got up and I must go out. So I said, I'm going out. I said, hey. Have you rested? I said, I think so. <laughs> rested enough. And we return today with 523 souls. <laughs> Amen. You don't move, nothing moves. I said on Sunday in one of those services, you make moves to make news. Only those who make moves make news. So Abraham departed. And Abraham rose up early in the morning. The, everyone that make news make or made moves. You don't make moves, you never make news. 
And so, Noah moved with fear and built God an ark. Hebrews 11, verse 7, by faith, Noah, being warned of God, of things not yet seen as yet, moved. Nobody has ever seen rainfall before, but when God said to Noah, build an ark, he moved. And the farmer became an engineer, built an ark <laughs> that was kept as an ark for 120 years. How he treated the wood, God knows. Even to this technology, can we treat wood for 120 years? I don't know. We should also be reminded that we are uh, empowered to operate in supernatural primarily to bring souls into the kingdom. Many will not believe except they see signs and wonders. And these signs will follow you as you get on the go to win souls. And they went forth and preached everywhere. God was confirming the word of their mouth with signs following so as to convict the sinners, bring them into the kingdom. So it's not for sure, like Simon or Simeon wanted. He gave money. Hello, sir, please give me this power so that when I lay my hands on people, they will also be free to the ghost and I collect money back in return. He wanted to be a distributor. <laughs> he said, your money perish with you. So it's mainly and principally to bring souls into the kingdom. We should just know that. Because John 4, 48 said, they shall not believe except they see signs and wonders. Except you see signs and wonders, you shall not believe. So the more committed we are to soul winning, the more empowered we are to operate in the supernatural. The more empowered we are to operate in the supernatural. This one is establishing the kingdom already. Praise God. Now, somebody said, I've seen my permanent place of worship. I was unjustly laid off from my job for four months ago. And since then, I have been believing God for a new job. On the 11th of April 2018, I met the bishop in one of his outreaches and invited me to the church. I and my family members joined the church fully. I enrolled for Believers Foundation class and by June received a phone call to resume back to my job immediately. He didn't call anybody, he received a phone call. And he said, I return all the glory to the God of this commission. I have seen my permanent place of worship, Basi Umbang. The hand of God just showed them a token of God's law. He said, I got it. That's what we're doing. We have seven days more to go, and then to be. Uh, 4th of July and then we have the celebration of mission accomplished on the 8th of July. So in case they give you extra time, you have it between 5 and 8. To deliver simply, simply, sir, simply, simply. Now if they say they are going to give you permanent residence in America if you get 12 souls to church, many of you will get, you say, is there any limit? They say, no. But the more you get, the faster you're processing. Ah, you bring 96. <laughs> you bring them to the altar for God to see that God see number one, two, three, four, five. God say enough. I've seen them. <laughs> Amen. But what you have in this is far more. It's a lifelong decoration, not a travel visa. Lifelong decoration, decoration that never ends. The kind that many people in this church are already in now. They are in the realm of lifelong decorations by how much they have touched the heart of God in their crave for souls. Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. Obedience of faith, therefore, is key to commanding the supernatural. Go, then you go. This will follow you, it starts following you. That's the way it works. Now, Operating this supernatural, we're looking at engaging the power of testimonies. Engaging the power of testimonies. 
Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 20, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it's because there is no light in them. Now what that means is this, testimonies are as illuminating as the word itself. In fact, testimonies are the best interpretations of the written word. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it's because there is no light in them. So testimonies are enlightening. Testimonies are illuminating. Testimonies are pointers to what God has reserved for us if we are interested. Testimonies are not mere stories. They are the manifestation of the power of God in the life of his children. And what he says to one, he says to all. So testimonies invariably are pointers to our heritage in Christ. My son, my daughter, I got this in stock for you in case you're interested. Oh yes, I'm interested. Okay, follow the process. Follow the process that resulted into this testimony. And you have committed my integrity to replicate it in your life. It's simply all about following the process that leads to a testimony and is replicated raw in our life. In Psalm 119, verse 111, thy testimonies have I taken as an heritage forever. They are the rejoicing of my heart. Remember, I am the Lord, I change not. Malachi 3, 6. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrews 13, 8. So whatever you found him doing in the life of any of his children, he said, I have this in stock for you also, in case you are interested. I'm interested. Okay, follow the process. No problem. Every testimony of the Lord is a seed with capacity to reproduce itself. The law of the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul. The testimonies of the Lord are sure. Making words the simple. So the law and the testimonies are on the same platform. They are on the same frequency. Whatever the law is, that's what the word is. That's what the testimony is. And the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. So Luke 8, 11. That means every testimony is a seed with inbuilt capacity to reproduce itself. So when you receive and believe a testimony and obey the demands that come along with it, it's naturally reproduced. You are not struggling with it. It's, look, one thing you can't catch God with is respect of persons. Whether you are black or white, whether you are short or tall, literate or illiterate, you put the word of God to work, it will deliver at the same rate. At the same rate. At the same rate. So every testimony has the inbuilt capacity to reproduce itself. We saw that in um, the story of the one with the issue of Lord in uh, Matthew um, chapter 9 verse 21 and then we saw the replication effect in Matthew chapter 4 verse 35 and 36 everybody was struggling to touch Jesus and as many as touched were made perfectly whole he drew from the testimony of that woman in chapter 9. And its ripple effects came in chapter 14. Also know that every prophecy is prophetic in nature. 
Amen. In chapter 19 of Revelation, on verse 10, he said, For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. A, thus said the Lord, I still dry up is your blood today. Amen. And to help me dry up yours, then put your faith on the line. Thy faith has made thee whole, she said to the woman. And so everybody was struggling to touch him. And as many as touched, were made perfectly whole. Testimonies are spiritual seeds. Testimonies are prophetic. And that's how they launch us into the realm of the supernatural. One of my greatest um, assets in my spiritual journey is the fact that I'm seated far above all principalities and powers, all principalities and powers. Now, it will be 40 years next year that I caught that light from the testimony of Smith Wigglesworth. I mean, boo. I can walk through a billion witches unscratched. But I can't walk through them without they being scratched. Amen. I can't walk through their company and they not be scratched. Now, from the testimony of one man, gave security to my life, gave security to my life. If all those agents of devil know what to do with me, they will have done a longer time. They don't know, I know what to do with them. It's me that know what to do with them. If I say stop, you stop. If I say stop breathing, you stop breathing. From testimony of one man. Try your testimonies. They are not stories. They are carriers of the power of God to deliver your heritage to you. Testimonies are not stories. Testimonies are not stories. You see the big volume of Science and Wonders today. And it's sectionalized. Go to the section that applies to you and consume those testimonies and release your faith into them. Then your own breakthrough comes. You have heard in this place, okay, from the testimony of a social person, I engage according to the same terms, and here is my testimony. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Testimonies are spiritual arrows against our adversary. We saw how David through the arrow of testimonies at Goliath. And we saw the result. God will deliver to me the lion and the, and the bear. He will give me you today. And I'll call to your head. Give it to the fowls of the air. And he did. Revelation 12, 11, And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. Treasure testimonies, they are not religious stories. They are the demonstration of the raw power of God, which is equally available to you if you are interested. Thank you, Jesus. The testimonies of the acts of God in the past guarantee triumph over our battles today. Just who come to the testimonies of the Lord in the past over any battle you are confronted with, and they are there to guarantee your victory in today's battle, over today's battle. They are there to guarantee your victory over today's battle. Don't lay by. Don't sit down in church as if they force you to come. Don't sit down. Don't hear nothing. Don't do nothing. Don't understand anything. Don't want to. It doesn't change anybody's position. Sitting down in class does not guarantee a pass mark. No tablet. No note. No nothing. Are you sleeping? No, no, no. I'm meditating. <laughs> okay. The day of the exam, we know whether you are sleeping or you are meditating. When you start looking at the sky, they say, right, yeah, I don't know what to write. <laughs> Were you in class? 100% attendance. But no positive response. That won't be you. Yeah. I said, that won't be you. Yeah. Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. We 
we can always draw on the testimonies of others for our own desired victory. You can always draw on the testimonies of others for your own desired victory. This still remains seven more days. Anything can happen in seven days. Anything. Your father went out today and came out with 523. You know, what is 12? What is okay? You must come with someone next week. We are not children Sunday school. We are not Sunday school children. <laughs> Maybe you may have we will go throughout the week and now I'm coming back is one so what is the meaning? What is the meaning? What's the meaning? Can you imagine me now assuming my parents were still alive and I give them one error? That you are so wonderful. You are, you are, I've never seen any parent more wonderful than you in the world. Now get this one error. <laughs> eh? When I leave, they will tear it. I say, God forbid that my life will be as bad as it. <laughs> because it's not your level. It's not your what? Please understand that God knows your level. It doesn't matter how you are posting, how you are pretending. He knows your level. He knows that this man has equipped him to bring 50 souls for me in this operation. But he doesn't mind me. So he has brought me one. And the one is not even stable. <laughs> For himself, he's not stable. <laughs> Amen. That won't be you. This thing works. And it kept me laughing and smiling 42 years. You can't pretend for 42 years. Oh. Amen. <laughs> I'm at peace today as I was 42 years ago. Zero apprehension today as I had it 40, 42 years ago. This thing works. Go and work it. You won't know how much it works until you go ahead to start working it. Go and work it. This thing works. This thing works. Every winner shall be decorated supernaturally. Yeah. Now, let me speak to the 11 one quarter hour engagers. We started 11th hour last Monday. If you are coming now, it's quarter past 11. <laughs> it is not late. Come in! It's not late. You are quarter past. By tomorrow, you are 30 minutes past. <laughs> it remains 30 minutes more. <laughs> Go and engage and enjoy the goodness of the Lord. This is no harassment. This is the word of God in its plainest form. He that reapeth, receiveth wages as he gathers fruits unto life eternal. He that winneth souls is wise because he's on his way to becoming a star. And he will be a star forever and ever. And the wise, I mean, wisdom makes the wise, you know, makes a man to reign. And then uh, je princes decree justice. By wisdom, kings reign. As you walk in that wisdom, you find your level of authority changing from one level to another. Let me hear your amen. amen. You mustn't end this operation without a change of position. Amen. You have all it takes to have it, so go and have it. Every time you bring a soul to church, tell Jesus, I brought this one to you by your father drawing him. And not the father gave you, you have kept. None was lost. Keep this one. Tell Jesus, keep this one. And I brought him for you. He has arrived in the store. Keep this one. Keep him. Master, keep him. I'm going to go and pick somebody else. As I bring them here, keep them. As I bring them here, keep them. And he will answer you. Next Sunday, there will be a holy invasion. Next Saturday at the cell fellowship meeting, there will be an invasion of men and women. Now, let me conclude by saying, you want to see the work of God done in your life? Engage with your faith. How shall we walk the works of God? The work of God is to believe on him whom he has sent. Engage with your faith. This is not somebody harassing me. This is God showing me the way forward. Amen. This is not somebody trying to use me. This is God showing me the way to realizing my glorious destiny in Christ. Engage with faith. Faith we see that call it the who also will do it. Engage with faith that we commit God to do what you desire. 
When I first asked Jesus, give me a thousand souls this month, I'd never seen a thousand souls in a year when I did. Praise God. And he did it. I stood here to pray. It happened the first month. I said, Jesus, give me another thousand souls this coming month, this new month. And he did. And then I did the third time. He did. I said, now, Father, give me a thousand souls this week. And then he did. Ah. So if I can believe for it, I'll commit him to do it. I said, okay, give me this other week. And he did. Now, let me testify before the Lord. Since Operation Take Your Attention for Christ began, we have not had a, month, a week without a thousand. Amen. Well, as I'm talking to you, we have crossed 23,000 of souls with 15,000 plus in church presented to Jesus. Praise God. You better wake up and put your faith on the line. Will I end this operation without something to show? No. I, I, I refuse to be a bench woman and an observer. I must be a partaker of the glory that comes along with this operation. You just put your faith on the line and it's working. It's working. It's not about just going about, it's about bringing them in. They must come in. You are not rewarded for the efforts you make, you are rewarded for the results you obtain. They must come in and they will come in. They must come in and they will come in. Well, let me also tell you that by the grace of God, we have 4,035 souls out of this operation that are in church already. Amen. And they came along with 1,564 of their family members and friends, making a total of 5,599. Isn't Jesus awesome? Amen. By someone believing God to see his plan and commandment realized in his life, put your faith on the line. Anybody can invite anyone. You don't need maturity. Somebody got saved and rescued from being a prostitute and immediately became a giant in operation 615. That tells how much grace is available. How much grace is available. How much grace. You won't miss that grace. Lift up your right hand where you are seated and give God thanks for his word. Give God thanks for the grace, unlimited grace at your disposal to operate in the supernatural, naturally. Now, give God thanks. You are not going to see sickness anymore in your life. No more disease. No more attack on your health. No more attack on your career. No more attack on your business. No more attack on your children. No. Come on, give God thanks and thank him for opening your eyes to see that this thing works. Give him thanks. Give him glory. Give him praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. Very quickly tonight, you are here in the service and you are not born again yet. I'd like to pray with you. The way to live in the overcomer's life begins with new birth. Whatever is born of God overcomes the world. This world will remain full of obstacles till Jesus comes, but when you are a child of light, darkness will bow to you. You want to surrender your life to Christ this evening, wherever you are, both here and in all of our viewing centers across Lagos and Nutter, please stand to your feet and I'll pray with you. Stand to your feet. God bless you. You want to surrender your life to Christ tonight, please stand to your feet. You want to be saved tonight, stand to your feet. You want to become a child of light tonight, stand to your feet. God bless you. God bless you. Somebody else need to get up wherever you are, get up on your feet right now before we pray. Amen. Now, there are people here that also need to rededicate their life to Jesus. You want to rededicate your life to Jesus. Can I have you stand to your feet? Please do. You want to dedicate your life to Jesus? Stand to your feet. And God bless us to do. Both here in Canaan Land and all the various centers, stand to your feet. You want to rededicate your life. You want to reconnect back to God. Please stand to your feet. Now, everybody standing, both in the first and second call, please make your way straight to the front here. I'll be praying for you in a moment. In all the vein centers, please approach the altar area. The pastors are waiting. Please come. Please come. Please come. Please come. Maybe you didn't stand up when I said you should. You can still come. Come over. Come over. Come over. You want to change your story tonight? Come over. You want a new beginning tonight? Come over. You want to become an overcomer tonight? Come over. You want to experience the reality of new birth tonight? Please come over. Wherever you are, come. Please come. Come. Come, keep coming. In all the green centers, approach the other area right now. Jesus has something for you. Come, keep coming, keep coming. 
It will change your life and your story for free. Keep coming. You will write your story tonight. Keep coming. If somebody is joining us, do that quickly. Do that quickly. We're about to pray right now. Do that quickly. Do that quickly. Jesus loves you beyond all you can ever imagine. Please come. Please come. Please come. Now, bow your heads, everyone. You can complete your forms later on. Bow your heads now for prayers in all divine centers. Lift up your right hand to heaven. And as I lead you in this prayer, just pray it after me. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you tonight. Forgive me all my sins. Wash me with your blood. I believe you died for me. On the third day you rose again, that I may be justified. Right now, I believe my sins are now forgiven. And I accept you tonight as my Lord and my Savior. And thank you, Jesus, for my rescue from the power of sin and from the power of Satan to serve the living God. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Thank you, Jesus, for restoring me back to the faith. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Keep your hands up. Now, in the name of Jesus, I cover all of you with the precious blood of Jesus. Be covered forever. No going backward for you. You have stepped into the kingdom of light tonight. You never step back into the kingdom of darkness. Now, receive grace to live the overcomer's life. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Congratulations. Congratulations. Please walk with the officials this way. You submit your form there and then you back to your seat. Shall we all rise, please? Amen. Many have been trying. Stop trying. Start trusting. Without him, you and I can do nothing. Stop trying. You can try it forever and not get anything. Start trusting. He abides faith, he cannot deny himself. Did he send you or not? He did. You have not chosen me, I have chosen you. That you should go and bring forth fruit. Are you a new creature? Yes. Now you have a ministry of reconciliation to bring the word back to God. So you are sent. Come and say, I'm sent. Now, operate with the confidence of one that is sent. Don't assume. Or pray with the confidence of one that is sent. And trust your sender to back you up to deliver. I say you are sent. You are not sent by the church. You are sent by Christ. Every new creature is given a ministry of reconciliation with the word of reconciliation so he can operate as an ambassador for Christ in reconciling the world back to God. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 to 20. So you are sent. May your confidence in your sender be boosted afresh tonight. Yeah. Now, pray as one that is sent. When you pray, say, Our Father, we are in heaven and we are thy kingdom come. Pray as the one with a mandate to pray the kingdom down. And it will make a lot of difference between your trying to get it done and your trusting your sender to get the job done. Well, between now and Sunday, the unusual will happen in your life. God's expectation of you in this operation shall be fully delivered. Before the 4th of July, you are singing a new song. If a new convert can come on key, between May 17 and now, man, what is an old believer doing? You got it. Go and use it. Now, we're going to be serving the communion. Jesus came to bear witness to the truth. As my father sent me, so send I you. So what are you here to do? To bear witness to the truth. To bear witness to the truth. Everyone born again is redeemed to bear witness to the truth. Jesus came to give you life, give you life more abundantly. He came as a ransom for your sin. Your sin cannot be a barrier to fulfillment of your destiny. Now you can believe in Jesus. He will wipe away your sin. Give you a new, a new life. You are bearing witness to the lost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lift up your two hands. Receive grace from the communion table tonight. Let the 
the stewards take their position, receive grace from the communion table tonight. To please God in the many days of your life by responding positively to every commandment from the Lord, every instruction from the Lord. Now, take that grace. Take that grace. Jesus finished his course. You must finish your course. You must finish your course. He had undying passion for souls. It's been transmitted to you and I afresh tonight. Now receive it. Receive it. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name. And this sign shall follow them. It doesn't sit down with people. It follows people. Grace to remain on the move the remaining days of your life in charting the way forward for the kingdom at our various levels. Receive it now. Amen. As you remain on the move, signs and wonders will keep following you Amen. all the days of your life. Amen. And the husband man that liberated must be first partake of the fruit. You never run out of testimonies anymore in your life. Amen. Now, if you can with anything not planted by the Lord, tonight by this communion, it is rooted out of your life. Amen. Somebody's jumping into one major miracle right now. Amen. If that is you, let me hear your loudest. Amen. Amen. This table tonight is blessed as the flesh and the blood of Jesus. Amen. And as you partake of it, I release you as a sign and a wonder to your Lord. Amen. You are released as a sign, as a wonder and a wonder to your world. Your passion for souls will remain undying. Amen. Your investment in the kingdom will remain a delight. Amen. In Jesus' name, Amen. so shall it be. Amen. Please get seated. Um, partake of this communion all across our network, Lagos and Otter. The same blessing is upon this communion tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. The priest. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah turns my life around. Now, expect an encounter with this great God of signs and wonders tonight. Don't approach the table casually. Approach it all the faith you can master. I'm long overdue to be healthy. Long overdue to enjoy health and vitality. Long overdue to be out of every stress of frustration. Jesus, I look up to you tonight for a turnaround encounter. Now, go with that attitude, go with that faith and confidence as you partake of the table of the Lord. He makes the way where there is no way. Jehovah as the final say. Jehovah turns the light around. He turns Jehovah turns the light around. He makes the way where there is no way. Jehovah as the final say. Jehovah turns around my situation. He turns me around. He turns me around.
same again. When there is no way. Somebody call him a boobery cage, you over there. forth in power, God validates it by signs and wonders. Somebody's life is touched tonight as we sing this song a few more times. Jump out in front here before we share the goodness and we celebrate God with you. Something came with you that is not of God, that is no longer in your system. You see, just jump down in front, come with your Bibles, we close from here. Now, go ahead. Join me calling the woman in
up your two hands to heaven, everybody, and give God thanks again tonight. Would you give him thanks from the depth of your heart? Give him thanks. There is no one like Jesus. Give him thanks. Celebrate him. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. We met someone who had not had any good sleep the last 10 years and had pains all over his body. Left our outreach location, went home and slept, woke up with a brand new world. He slept like a baby that night. Now, no matter what situation came with you tonight, will never wake up with you in the morning. You believe it, you receive it, and it's done for you. Now get seated quickly, please. Amen. Let's get this testimony. Hallelujah. Mary Arugundade had had cough, severe cough this way, severe cough for three days as soon as she partook of the communion, totally set free to the glory of God. Amen. Shall we rise to our feet? That's a sign that whatever came with you to this service will not return back with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be.